Hola YouTube, this is Kyle Turner coming at you with the new app GPay and I'm going to give you the walk around of it, overview as you say. As you can see right here, there's two different versions uh, of Google Pay. One is called Google Pay, the normal one, and the one is called GPay. The one we're going over is called GPay. Uh, when you load it up, first you'll normally be asked to um, verify your thing with your, your, uh, your fingerprint, but I already did that. Cool little interface you can see, you can find your friends, you can uh, pay people directly from the app. So it's like um, Apple Pay for Google phones pretty, or, or Android in general. You can invite people, get $10, and this is not even the only way that you can actually do that. You can actually get other referrals. We're gonna go over that later in the video. Um, takeout and pumping gas is super seamless. You can just do that and it automatically transfers your bank information to the company. So no need for like, oh, what's your credit card number and all this thing. You get a, a randomized credit card number every time you use the app, which is really convenient. I actually like that a lot. Um, once you make your first couple of payments, uh, I mean, once you make your, you know, like transactions, I guess you could call them, you get $5, which is really cool. You can scan QR codes um, via this and get uh, like a little extra bonus right there. And as you can see right here, first three qualifying payments and you get five bucks. So literally buy any three things and you get five bucks in your account. Can't beat that. Literally just using this. They want people to experience the, I guess, convenience of it. And you'll probably like it to the point where you'll keep using it. Like I like the touch pay because I mean, I, obviously I live in Europe now, so everybody uses uh, touch pay. Their cards have it built into it. So it's good that I could have something that's similar. I can just use my phone and then just go and have it like that. This one, you get $10 cash back and all you gotta do is refer three people. So any three people you know that use uh, Google Pay anyway or have a Android smartphone, they can just, you can just get $10 from that for free. And there's the cool part, which I really, really appreciate right? Because in Samsung Pay and Apple Pay, you get cash back with certain retailers just because they're partnered with that company. And Google is no exception. So with these companies, you just get straight up cash back into you. 12% cash back when you pay online. Do you know how much money that is? Like, let's say you went to Adidas and you bought, you know, $200 in shoes and, and sweatpants. I just recently bought some sweatpants recently from Adidas. That's $20 back into your account. $20. Yeah, that's nothing to sleep at. And I mean, look how many retailers there are. So it's not like it's just one or two retailers. No, there's a lot of retailers. H&M, you know, you, you know, either your girl or you, if you're the girl, are definitely going to go there. There's a lot of stuff you got here. Um, top savings, you got other different places you can go to and shop online and things of that nature. It's, it's, it's just a lot of options you got there. And there... You got even more options like Porsche and and Lumens and Dyson. So you got a lot of different things pretty much. And you, there's a search option somewhere. I forgot where it was. And you can even search out the companies. So if you go to a company, just go there. Oh, there it is at the top. Like, I don't know why they, they hid that, but <laughs> you can also put your um, your cards here. So as you can see, first, second, third reward in the top portion. And it stores all of your your normal GPay cards, and it's got the little cool insignia. So it's really easy to just add um, add different cards here, uh, transact them with things. It keeps all your loyalty cards here as well. So it's basically a revised version of the original Google Pay. You don't really need the original Google Pay app anymore. This kind of replaces it. It keeps all of the companies that you've been to, and you can actually see all the transaction information, how much you paid where the transaction happened at. Um, you get more information about that, as you can see right there. You got the ID, you got the store number. It's, it's pretty it's pretty cool that you can see exactly like where your money's going. So if somebody tries to say, you know, I don't know, steal your phone or something like that, which, you know, obviously I'm just using a random example that never happens, but you'd be able to see exactly where your card's being used, which is probably the most essential thing you, you want to use up. Uh, virtual bank for anyway you can see how much money you have in your account how much money you spent today um you get your google pay balance and here's the cool thing 
Plex is actually going to be working with uh, Citibank, so you can actually have like this futuristic bank card. Um, I'm thinking, I think that Google's gonna release a credit card. I think I have a video reference in this earlier. It's cool because if you scroll down, you can actually see all your recent activity, like rent transactions. Yeah, this app is really complex and it's cool that they have all the features you need. So they're really cool that you got everything in one place. You can even search your receipts, which is, I'd say probably one of the coolest features of this entire thing. I currently use this app that's been in beta forever and it essentially gives you a couple of cents back for each receipt you use. But to have that and to basically get money back in one place is like amazing. So you can pay with this and then you store the receipt from there in this. And you also get an extra receipt because obviously Google is you know all about searching and statistics. So Oh, it says show receipts from Google Photos. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's 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 really because that I store most a lot of photos like that too. Well, see, I just enrolled in that, so you know I'm not just like BSing you. And this is the first time I opened it. Well, app like this, so it's perfect. You can view all your account spending in one place. There's a lot of apps that essentially do this. It's like Mint or uh, SoFi or um Robinhood, any company like that, which gives you like, um, like a like a pay, and, and you can see all of your different accounts in one place. I'd say if you have multiple accounts and you don't know what any of those that I just mentioned are, definitely sign up for that. Me, I kind of already know where my money is and and what accounts I have, so it's not really that big. But this is a quick overview, just showing you the different cool features that that is in here, and I think if you don't already pay virtually for most things you should definitely give this a try just in the sense that when you go to a store you don't have to pull out your wallet you can just keep your phone on you then tap the machine pay for it it's, it's really cool looking and you get the benefit of uh getting money back actually into your account so via the receipts and the cash back it's a pretty no-brainer check this app out it's called gpay Download on the Google Play Store. I have the links in the description below. As always, comment, rate, subscribe, and have an awesome day.